What's going on, YouTube? It's Bama Dipper Two Forty Three. Uh, I've been uh thinking about this a lot the last couple of days, weeks, months about how a lot of people are causing all this, causing all this unnecessary, big deal type bullshit about the rebel flag and the confederate flag and I got one three by five in my room I I see it as a symbol of where I'm from of my roots where I was born and raised I see it as as a, a symbol of rebellion um, that the government can only control us by so much. Uh, it symbolizes my right to bear arms. Um, yeah. And, um, I, I, yeah, a guy went into a church, and a all-black church, and uh, murdered nine people. And no one deserves to die like that. But you, I'm not trying to make light of that situation or say that that it's it's justified because it's not. And he shouldn't have done what he did. But he's a lunatic. He's crazy. And he took a picture with the rebel flag. He also took pictures burning the American flag. But that's that's just what the media doesn't want us to hear. They don't tell us that. And um, I have some points uh, that I've uh, I've kind of I've made my own points about the rebel flag and what it stands for and my reasons on why I believe it's not a racist symbol. Um, I mean, here's, here's the points I have. So, history is written by the victor. Uh, North won the war, so they get to write the history of why the Civil War was fought. And they chose to say that all Southerners were racist slave owners, yet 90% of Confederate soldiers did not own slaves. Uh, and... Not to mention, there were black Confederate soldiers fighting for where they were from, for honor, for dignity, and for their right to secede from the government. The Civil War was not based on slavery. It was based on uh, taxation, oppression, and um, us exercising our right to secede and to move away from this overbearing government. Not slavery. Yes, slavery had a part in it, but it was not the main part of the Civil War. The first, the first slave owner in the United States, in Louisiana, the slaves came to Louisiana. And the very first slave owner in the United States was African American. The misuse of a symbol trumps its original meaning. The swastika, a symbol which was originally used in the Hindu religion, uh, was forever tarnished by the Nazi party and Adolf Hitler. Um, yet, the swastika, that symbol, adorns many temples in India, and no one calls those people Nazis, as they shouldn't. Likewise, the Confederate flag is not a symbol of white power, slavery, or hate just because a select few group of people chose to see it like that. The war that's called that we call a civil war was actually the war for southern independence. That was all the South wanted was to be left alone. 
Slavery was as important to the northern economy as it was to the southern economy. However, the southern economy was so important to the north that they would not allow the southern states to become independent. This is our history and our heritage. The war did not begin over slavery, but over manufacturing and trade problems with the North. Just because certain groups have used the Confederate flag in hate-related crimes or racism does not make that flag a piece of cloth racist. Racism is Southern Americans not being allowed to display their history as they choose. This was a battle flag that had both African Americans, blacks, and whites fighting under it. The main issue for that war was states' rights. Lincoln was himself no crusader of liberty. And in fact, put forth a racist mentality as supported by his letters. This contrived racism of the flag is nothing more than a slap down to the South from the victors of the Civil War, which would be the North. Outside of the U.S., the Confederate flag is primarily seen as a symbol of rebellion in general as well as secession, and is often used by such, often used as such by people of any country across the globe to deny a people their cultural culture is cultural discrimination. And the phenomena of the negative association is largely media created. The media is trying to pin this whole thing on racism and saying that it's a negative symbol when it's really not. They're just telling people, they're, they're fueling people with these BS thoughts that they just pump into your head. The U.S. government has always, I mean... The, the negative association is largely media created, as the U.S. government will always do against enemy, any enemy it's ever had, past or present. The people of the Confederate South were fighting above all to defend their states, their country, their freedom, and their homes from invasion and to preserve the individual and constitutional liberty that Southern Americans... Preserve the individual and constitutional liberty that Americans won in 1776. They saw it as the second war of independence. Lincoln was a racist and a tyrant who won his office without even being on the ballot in the South. Centralized big government won the war and both the North and South have suffered greatly ever since. President Lincoln is quoted in saying... I will say that I am not, nor ever have been in favor of bringing about in any way the social and political equality of the white and black races. That I am not, nor ever have been in favor of making voters or jurors of Negroes, nor of qualifying them to hold office, nor to intermarry with white people. And I will say in addition to this that there is a physical difference between the white and black races, which I believe will forever forbid the two races living together on terms of social and political equality. I say upon this occasion, I do not perceive that because the white man is to have the superior position, the Negro should be denied everything. Unquote. These are not my views. This is a letter written by President Abraham Lincoln. These are not my views. I do not condone what he said at all. Abraham Lincoln was a racist for the CIA, for, for the CSA, Confederate States of America, and Southern people to be re labeled racist is absurd considering the nation which they succeeded from was a slave-holding nation. The American flag, the stars and stripes that we have as our country's flag today, flew on slave ships, it flew over slavery, for, I believe it was 81 years, while the Confederate flag, which isn't even the, the, the rebel flag, the flag that we use today, not even the, the, the red flag with the blue, uh, blue, blue X on it with the 13 stars, that's not the Confederate flag. The actual Confederate flag 
flew over slavery for only four years, 1861 to 1865. The, the, the rebel flag that we fly now, that people call the Confederate flag, is not actually the Confederate flag. It is the battle flag of the Army of Virginia, which was the Army of Robert E. Lee. Um, NASCAR, Dale Jr. was quoted in saying that, um, he was quoted in saying that the, he, he sees the rebel flag as it's offensive and the only place it belongs is in a history museum. And I, I don't know why he would, why he would say that. Um, NASCAR is urging people to leave their rebel flags at home and to not bring them to races, which is just making everyone who is camping there in their trailers and campers and motorhomes have one on that on that vehicle that it, it it's just going to make people have it more because it's a symbol of rebellion and and it's a symbol of saying that the government can only have so much control over us which is true um I mean, if we ever need a rebel flag, if we were ever going to fly that flag, now's the time to do it because it is, it, it's just, it, it, it shows that we, it's freedom to secede from an overbearing government. That's what it is. And if the government was ever overbearing, it, that is now. And I mean, I, I, I completely understand that people that flag makes some people uncomfortable. Um, it makes, it, it, it offends certain people. And I apologize for that, but that is not going to make me take it down because that's not why I fly the flag. Like I said earlier, it is not, I, I don't fly it to say, Oh, the, I mean, I'm proud to be white, just like anyone else should be proud to be African American or Ch Asian American or whatever you are. You should be proud of that. Those are your roots. That's where you come from. That is just, that's, that's what you are. Be proud of that. But that, with that, I'm not saying that you should... De you should treat all the other races like they're less than you because they're not. Um, be proud of who you are, what you are, where you came from, but don't don't be negative to other races just because they're different from you. That's not what I'm saying at all. Um, I understand that people think that 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 pe some people see it as a racist thing. I understand that and. I mean, that's their opinion, but their freedom of speech that entitles them to say that it offends them and it's racist is also the freedom of speech that we are taking into account by having the flag up. That's our freedom and our right to do that as American citizens. Um, a couple of years ago when people were burning American flags and people came up to them and said, why the hell would you do that? Why are you doing this? The reply was, oh, it's just a piece of cloth. It doesn't mean anything. It's it's our right to burn it. But now, people hate on the American... Um, the American flag was just a piece of cloth. But now the rebel flag, which is a piece of cloth, is racist. I mean, you gotta keep your story straight here. It's, I mean... Doesn't make any sense. Um, the 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 Ku Klux Klan, which everyone associate everyone who believes the rebel flag is racist associates it with. Oh my God, the Ku Klux Klan flew the rebel flag. Uh, they hate black people. Oh my God, it's racist because they flew it. If you look at any picture. From the clan's height, when it was at its highest, strongest point, you will not find a single Confederate flag. You will find American flags. 
I, I don't, I don't see anyone petitioning to get American flags taken down anywhere because they are racist. I mean, if if that's if if that's a thing, please comment on this video below and let me know that. Um, if if you have any. Even if you're gonna, if even if you're gonna comment below and, and hate on this video and say, "Oh, the rebel flag is racist," um, please make comment on it, and I will take that into account. I'll make another video, uh, and I'll read your comments and I'll address those. And if if, if there's anything you want to bring to my attention that I might not have stated or might not know, um, please let me know because I want to hear y'all's opinions on the subject. Um, yeah. So, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, Bama Dipper 243 signing off. See you later, YouTube.